how to become a regional oh my gosh hey <laughs> uh crypt how do you Oh, gosh. <laughs> Just, it, it will know what you mean. <laughs> Crippid. <laughs> Decrippid. <laughs> Terrain.org. This is it. This is Yeah. Oh, there it is. There's this the, the swamp ape or whatever. Oh, skunk ape. Skunk ape. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah. He has been called many things these past months. <laughs> this is a sentence. A bad husband. A failed palm tree farmer. A selfish man. But he never expected to be called a Floridian cryptid. I, I just want to know, how do you fail at being a palm tree farmer? Did, did they did did they all like burn down? Like how do you? Your palm trees died. Mo Johnson <laughs> picked up the such a good name. Acapi. It's like the guy. Um, I don't even know the bully from Calvin and Hobbes. His name Mo. So I'm just envisioning that guy. Run the pump. He picked take pick. Oh my god. <laughs> Mo Johnson picks up the oak <laughs> register from the front porch of his cabin, dusts off the scrub oak pollen, and sees a picture of himself on the front page under the headline, Skunk Ape Spotted Near Bitten Lake. He has been called many things these past months. <laughs> the a line. husband, a failed palm tree farmer, a selfish, selfish man, but he never <laughs> expected to be called a Floridian, Floridian cryptid. The I picture is from two nights ago when he had taken out the garbage <laughs> and walked through the pine flats at the end of the road. Since his wife Ava left him after 40 years of marriage, his hair had grown out and he has adopted an elusive, disheveled existence that Charlotte and Gil Everly Fisherman's children, listed as the owners of the photograph, what do you do? Oh, had mistaken child. for the skunk ape. <laughs> okay, wait. So I feel like we should pause there. I, this man. So these the Charlotte and Gil Everly saw this man who apparently let himself go since Ava left. After and forty said, years, how old is this guy? That is a skunk ape. <laughs> wow. I feel like we need to look up a picture of Mo Johnson because I want to know how old he is. Surely they'll have one. Wait. Oh, oh, he's pretty. That now I look like a skunk ape to old. me. He reads about Charlotte and Gil's excitement at having found the skunk ape. He's just getting his like paper. They saw this guy exit this house, go pick up the paper, and go back to his own house, and said, "That is a cryptid." We're up from here. He le- He. No, you skipped. He you skipped. read. Where? <laughs> look, like right, right there is where we entered. Oh. We had three different. <laughs> Two nights ago, <laughs> Mo was awoken by the overwhelming smell of decay in his garbage. Decaying his wi- garbage. <laughs> oh, his wife was always the one to take decay out the trash. in his garbage. <laughs> but it's Mo's chore now since he left him for a Miami-based real estate agent she met while working as a receptionist at the Sweetwater Room. Not the Sweetwater This poor man. A job she had only took because Mo lost his palm tree farming during the recession. The 2008 recession? Or like the probably the twenty twenty recession, and we're we're okay, short on everything. We're short on everything, but especially money. <laughs> <laughs> what else are they short on? <laughs> everything because of a lack of but money, money especially. Mo walked his waist down the long gravel road to the pavement, where it would be picked up in the morning. Charlotte and Gil Everly exploring the woods that night, looking for the local cryptid. Spotted. He reads about Charlotte and Gil's excitement at having found the skunk ape. Quote, this is the big break we've been waiting for, end quote. Charlotte says in the article, quote, we can't wait to tell our dad about it when he gets home from sea. From sea. <laughs> These kids are straight out of the Victorian era. The article details how Charlotte and Gil have taken to looking for the skunk ape. I like that skunk ape is capitalized. As a it's distract- a proper noun. <laughs> It's a legal name. It's, it's government name. <laughs> As a distraction when their father, when Papa is away at sea, and their oh. mother, Sierra Everly, is at work at Sweetwater. These Inn. names, Oh, man. my goodness. These names she, are wait, the wait, most wait, wait, wait. Florida in names. Worked at Sweetwater Inn, where she once worked with Ava. Oh, my. It's all connected. What a twist. Mo had met Charlotte and Gil a few times. <laughs> So they've met this man. They know this man they is. They know this guy. And still their moms fought. work together. Oh, that's so good. And still they saw They're him and were like, wife. That's a skunk ape. As he stands on his front porch, holding the paper in his hands, the morning light streaming through the pine trees, Mo decides he will go to town and clear the whole thing up. He can't have these kids running around thinking the skunk ape exists. What's he gonna do about it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's his place? He, gonna... he walked the crushed shell road halfway to 
That was gravel. Achapi holding the newspaper in his hand, slapping mosquitoes from his arms. And, this is the most Florida story. I can't have those kids running around. He sounds like a Scooby Doo villain. <laughs> they take a picture of me. All kids want to do today is see the skunk ape with their own eyes. <laughs> I can't have these kids thinking the skunk ape exists. I gotta go clear this up. At the edge of the cypress swamp, Gilbert Perkins. Gilbert, these are the Gilbert. most Florida names I've ever seen. Vaguely sea-inspired maritime Vaguely. names. A longtime customer of Moe's Palm Tree Farm, back when Moe still had a palm tree farm <laughs> and a business and a wife. <laughs> This is so well it's written. This is so well written. Back when he you was know, happy. And back also when you had a, a business and a farm <laughs> and a wife and didn't look like a skunk. Ape. Oh, that's so good. Oh. I love this author so oh, much. Oh my goodness. Can I wait? Hold on. I can I can <gasps> hold Oh my goodness. On. We left off, right? Wait. Now, after that. <laughs> where... Go down. Go down. <laughs> where we, we were, were in we? this paragraph right oh. there. <laughs> Stops his truck and says, Mo Johnson, oh, haven't worst. seen you in so long. I thought you did. It's the worst underline, <laughs> overlining, lining. It's the worst lining I've seen. Mo has never been sociable, but since everything happened, you know, back when he had a wife and a, a palm Every tree day. and happiness, he has become especially oh. reclusive. Quote, no, no, I'm, I'm still, still here, here, he says, and tries to smile. But the truth <laughs> is that he never feels here. He never feels. <laughs> Just the other day, he'd been scrolling on Facebook and seen pictures of Ava's engagement to <laughs> Dale, not Dale. Dale. Again, another most spins most nights on Facebook, scrolling through her profile. Wow, and stayed down bad. This man and staring at Ava's face, studying her features. It's kind of creepy. He has done this ever since a few months ago. She told him they couldn't talk anymore because she needed to move on. For a while after she moved out, they still spoke on the phone every night. She would tell him about her day, and he would tell her about the weather. <laughs> Not his day. But then <laughs> things started getting day. serious with Dale, the Miami high-rise guy. <laughs> the Miami the contempt. And she told him they couldn't call anymore, and that he should move on to. <laughs> Since then, <laughs> Mo has been stalking her Facebook in an effort to still feel like their marriage had been real. Oh, Poor guy. This, this is sad. She took this most of her sad. stuff with her when she first moved out. Then Mo had mailed her the rest. She moved out on a Saturday and left a note on the kitchen counter explaining what he'd known was coming, that he was too emotionally distant, that he'd been a different man since he had to sell his farm, and that she needed to change. Mo didn't blame her. He knew that some mornings he sat at the breakfast table in the sun and felt parts of himself evaporating. This and then took he became a, turn. a skunk ape. Oh, it's so <laughs> sad. Mo stands now and watches the dust of Gilbert's truck retreating. That's not how it says it, but that's how I, that's how I read it. <laughs> I might be dyslexic. Yep. Where was that? He looks at. He looks at the picture of himself in the newspaper, and wonders whether he really may be a skunk. <laughs> oh wait, no. Sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was my own critique, creative interpretation. I hope that this ends like he just fully embraces his skunk. I hope so. And he just he runs into <laughs> runs into the swamp in a fursuit. They remind Mo of the kinds of kids at Akapi Middle who were held upside down and shaken for their lunch money. This author. These kids are losers, and Mo is sad. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Wait, this is Charlotte. Excuse me, Mr. Mo. He feels a tap on his shoulder and turns around to see Charlotte Everly and a younger brother. Younger brother. Gail. Yeah. How are they tw identical twins? Maybe yeah, they're fraternal. but if they look alike, they said they look exactly alike down to the mole on their cheek. Like they they called out that they're Maybe identical. Maybe she's a very masculine girl, and he's a very feminine boy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they seem to materialize from thin air, appearing like fog on humid mornings. So eloquent. You're just the man we're looking for. <laughs> Why did she go through puberty right then? <laughs> You're just the man we're looking for. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Charlotte. <laughs> My mom worked with your wife. My voice your is too for this. Yes, Mo says. <laughs> you gotta do the kids. I'll do Mo. Okay. Yes, Mo says. He feels nervous just looking at them. We recently spotted a skunk ape in this exact area, Ava says, and gestures at the woods. Wait, Ava? This is Ava? That's not correct. That that's gotta mean that means Charlotte. Yeah, that 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 means Charlotte. It must okay. mean Charlotte. Sorry right, then. We recently spotted a skunk ape in this exact area, Ava says, and gestures at the woods, where Mo's house isn't far down the line. Charlotte looks at the newspaper in Mo's hand and then back up at Mo. I really ought to get a town, he says. 
There's been a mistake. <laughs> We're very thirsty too, Charlotte says. Could we at least bother you for something to drink? I got some beer. <laughs> I got some garbage juice. I got some trash juice. I want some prune juice, kids. <laughs> Mo stares at the two of them and the way... Mo stares at the two of them and the way they scroll into themselves like messages in, in bottles. What does that mean? <laughs> they... Remind Mo of the kind of kids at Okapi Middle School middle who are held upside down and shaken for their lunch money, who pull boat into school with notebooks in perfect condition and leave with their skunk ape theories dripping in toilet, toilet water. water. They are in like swamps down there. These they nerds. live in the Everglades. <laughs> oh my goodness. Looking into Charlotte's bright eyes. He remembers a conversation he had with Ava years ago when she told him about her infertility. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! And how he held her hand as she wept into his shoulder, and they mourned a future that they suddenly had dried up and left them stranded on a sandbar. This has nothing to do with the situation. <laughs> like, I guess that will. I guess that will be okay. <laughs> it's like. On the verge of tears at this point. <laughs> Thinking about I, Ava. I guess that'd be okay. That's so sad. This is now a story about a guy who wanted to have kids and couldn't with the love of his life. And then and she, she left. met him for, <laughs> left him for dirt. Yeah, that was back when, back when, you know, when he had a palm tree and, and money. And, and a wife. wife. <laughs> <laughs> he walks with him to his house. And the entire time, Charlotte chatters about the skunk ape. And how she's been tracking it for months and following elusive cryptid hunting it's blogs. Exclusive. Oh, <laughs> the blogs themselves are elusive. <laughs> he can't they get, find they get them taken anyway. out every week because they're just blatant disregard of privacy. <laughs> <laughs> For the apes, of course. Right, and Mo. Yeah, and Mo. <laughs> Those are the same thing. <laughs> Basically. And how she couldn't believe her eyes when she's seen a skunk ape in the flesh two nights ago when she and Gil were wandering through the woods after Gil had a nightmare. <laughs> Charlotte, I had a nightmare. Can you make it better? Yeah, let's take a walk through the woods at night. I really do think these people live in the swamp or the they marsh must. area. He gets those a lot when our dad is at sea, she says. Sometimes when he's home, too. So he gets those a lot. Okay, thanks. Gets what? Oh, the nightmares. Okay. Nightmares. <laughs> Mo knows her father, their father. Ava and he had gone to school with Herbert. <laughs> Mo knows their father is the kind of man who drinks at home alone. Oh, my goodness. He so knows sad. their father is the kind of man who gets... Guts, guts. Well, towel, tilapia, til it's a type of fish. Oh, tilapia. tilapia, and never <laughs> cleans up the blood, leaving it stain the leaving, leaving it to stain the docks. <laughs> wow, this is oh my goodness. Oh, so man. he's a fisherman. Okay, Charlotte and Gill sit on his front steps and interview him about the skunk ape <clears throat> sightings in his area. How long has it been since anyone has taken an interest in Mo? Even it was if it was because they thought he was an elusive cryptid. <laughs> well, he says. The skunk ape's been around these parts sometimes. Really? Charlotte's eyes open wide. Tell me more. And suddenly Mo can't stop talking. Since Ava left, he's barely spoken to more than a few words all day. But now the lines pour, and he does nothing to the stop lies. them. No, no, the lies pour. He's lying to these <laughs> kids. <laughs> the lies pour. It's so good. It's just so frustrating. I want to be in Florida getting a tan on my back.